What effect has my life brought on in your life? And I want to videotape this because I'm a brain sufferer and someone that was just a horrible person. So this is only a minor look at what your life can be like. It can be so much better, but my life, I think, is great. So your lives can be great, if not way better, too. My nana took me from a foster on my butt three years, three and a half, and um, I was put there because my mom was using drugs constantly. I was in the car and the cops were there at the parking lot where we were sad and I'm living in. They see me rumbling around this little kid when my mom was having sex for money in the car. So they took me to a foster home, mom. My Nana was looking for me, bless her heart, for probably over a year. She already had my two cousins because our other dad was a screw up too. My dad personally was in prison for 25 to life, so at that point, um, so I got with my Nana. Lived a pretty good normal life with her for a long time. Just very, very happy. In the foster home, my, um, the foster parents were horrible, so I had two tubes put in my ears. Because of that, I had like 30 or 40% hearing in my left and 80 in my right. I can't say enough good things about my Nana. She, um, did everything correct, never used drugs, clean house for a living to provide for us. I played sports, I was a real good athlete. I did football, won World Series almost in baseball. Was an all-star football player. Um, did wrestling, state championships and everything. Collegial and freestyle. So pretty much every sport I was good at. And then I, I'd say about junior high, I started using drugs big time. Marijuana and drinking didn't affect me too bad, but at some point in my life, horribly, I started meth and that's when things really started to go downhill for me. Started stealing, selling drugs, hurting people, and all those things are horrible. But at the time when you're doing them, and the people you're running with, you think you're doing something good. <laughs> Believe it or not, I look back on that. That's why I'm laughing because. At no point in time is any of that stuff good ever. Anybody who's your real friend, even if they're using drugs, they will not use them with you. Because that's what a real friend does. That's just how they act. I choose to be a real friend now. To other people and to myself. To myself. And I did seven prison terms all together because that stupid stuff. Before I thought I'm just an idiot. Seven prison terms? Yeah, they were all for one or two years at the most, but still you go in and go out. It's just horrible and um the last one that I got 15 years for, didn't rob house. I got found for burglary. And, but the guy that said I robbed his house, 
I got in dispute with him, beat him up, hurt him. So because his pride was hurt, he said I robbed his house or whatever to make himself feel better. They said, look, we'll just give you five years and you'll be done with us. And I thought my money, you didn't do this, don't take that crap. So I fought all the way and they ended up giving me 15 years. Still run my same old life. Bad people, bad drugs, doing all the wrong things. Fighting, hurting people if they didn't do stuff my way. And because of that, the Lord shined down on me. A lot of people won't think that what I went through is the Lord. But I know personally that all the good people I have in my life and the Lord is responsible for what happened to me. I, um, we had a ride on the prison yard because this dude and they seen me because I already had, had a bad reputation. I was the first one to get because I was just a laughing about it now, but shouldn't be. I was a horrible person. Not to black specifically, but to anybody that ruined my money game. Basically, he took my cane, knocked me straight out, and about 15 to 20 of them kicked me in the head and stabbed me at work for 24 minutes. So now, because of that sense, 2015, I was told by the doctor I would never be able to walk or talk again. But basically he came, came through again and my perseverance and drive that he allowed me to have and gave to me came through again. <laughs> Within two years, I was able to walk, sort of, and talk. When I got out of prison, I was in a wheelchair. After a few weeks or a few months, traded the walk or traded the wheelchair to a walker. And people like my friends here at this church and just positive people I'm around now, thank God for that, or why. Because when I'm having a bad day or stuff ain't going my the right way for me, personally, they're always there to remind me it's going to get better and this is why. And just have a positive attitude because you know who's up here looking down on me. Brian himself has uh, reminded me of my own past and my uh, struggles of stuff that I've gone through and how far I've come. Brian, I see, has the same drive, I believe, that God inspires in those that have a mission where your vessel has been given to God when upon wake up, you know, that it is time to serve uh, a higher purpose and calling in your life and letting God use your vessel to... Um, share what's happened and how big his power is and how much he can do it's super hard to tell by looking at us that you know things are what they were but um brian was sober he had a job he had a brain injury and he believed in jesus and i was like I, you know it took me a minute because i'm very um well i suffer from paranoia from all the, the trauma and so Took me a minute, but then, you know, Brian was persistent too with our friendship. So the, um, and then coming to church, that's when there's a will and, and someone wants to strive to, to keep seeking God and realize that God is the one who is helping us all divine appointment or connection, like giving him all the props and the glory for what he's done for us to be here right now sharing pizza. You know what I mean? You should be the first president of class. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. So just to know that and to know Brian and that, allowing, uh, again, like Steve said, to slow down and remember how long it takes to recover and the, the, the simple things that others take for granted, you know? Yeah, so that's what Brian brings back in me is how, um, how much maybe I do have to offer, how much I do have to give to others out there, you know, and share like the love that God has filled me up with, with, with nothing. I came from the mud, you know, nothing, nothing. And I found my way with uh, employment and just everything. So yeah, yeah. That's, what he, that's what he does for me. Yeah, and yeah. Before, I didn't care if I lived or died. Um, my self-worth just was never that great. I mean, yeah, I only stayed alive or around long enough to use drugs or have sex. But the way life is now, not only that I've been through brain injuries, but people, and they have to have this personal driving, personal self-worth. Brian has given me the opportunity to remember patience, to remember to slow down. I've been through a lot of what he's been through. Knowing Brian has uh, been a blessing. He's a good person. <laughs> he's got a jaded past like me, checkered, shady, shifty. All that is in the past. He's not that guy anymore. He's a good person. He cares. He goes out of his way. He's still a jackass. <laughs> but aren't we all? We all have our own little quirks and qualms, characteristic flaws. He gets past them. He encourages the people around him to do better. And he pushes harder than most people ever will. But he does it with a large dose of grace. You have to. You don't realize you're going to get a crap before you think about it. Yeah. So uh, I'm glad that he came back to God. And I'm glad that he's enriching the lives of the people that he comes in contact with. I don't think he realizes how much he affects the people around him from time to time. It's, but he, he pulls through it. And he's always got something constructive and positive to gain as well as to give. And that's why I do it. He makes us all better. I appreciate you for that, brother. You're my brother. I'm probably done. So to everybody out there <laughs> watching, you have to love yourself and want it for yourself. For not only people, not only people like me to help you, but for others to be on your side and want to help you too. If you want it to get better, it's always going to get better with a couple things. One, your personal resilience. And then two, your loving God and Savior Jesus Christ. <laughs>